Every year, ICAM Manning and ESAC put on a show against each other. This year was no different. With each team led by their respected run games, we all knew we were in for a show. Welcome to this week's Roselle Mutual Game of the Week. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. Uh, it's going to be kind of a battle of wills tonight. Both of these teams like to do the same thing. They like to run up the middle. They like to, they like to uh, establish that line of scrimmage. So should be a fun game. Both these teams should match up well. I think they're better than their records indicate. They've played some uh, really, really tough competition, ranked competition. So this should be a fun and entertaining game tonight. The defenses look strong to start the game, but a mishap on the Raiders' special teams would cost Isak early. Kicks away, a little bit better kick and a spiral slightly. Be caught by Barons at about 39. He's working here to the near side, cross the 45, 50. Oh. He's got the room, 45, 30, now 35, 20, 25. Makes one off, shakes it off, get drugged down at the 10. So a heck of a move there by Parker Barons. He just kind of let that set up, Jeff. Kyler Rasmussen was the workhorse for the Wolves all night, and he was the first one to put points on the board. And they're going to give it to Kyler. Kyler took the snap, fullback playing quarterback, pushes forward. He's behind Nielsen. No signal. Yes, yes. Touchdown, Wolves. So Kyler Rasmussen finds the end zone, got in there behind his center, and it's 6 nothing Wolves. Isak's offense struggled early in the game until Quentin Ludwig was able to make something happen. Throw is Schmidt. He's going to sling it out there to the right side. Caught by Ludwig at about the 24. Makes a little move. Cuts it up across the 30. Still on his feet. Makes another guy move. Turns on the Jets. 35. Stutter step 40. 45. Reverse and field now. Shakes another one off. He's to the 50, folks. He's ran about 60, though. 45. 30. Now to the 25. Going to be pushed out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. Just as the Raiders' offense had something going, the Wolves made a play of their own. Give it to Noah Schmidt, looking to pass, play action, he's going to step in, clean out to the right. Uh -oh. It's picked off, that one's picked off by the Wolves, that's Drew Dale, he's at 30, 35, 40, going to be drugged down at the 43. Drew stepped in front of that same pass, going to Quentin Ludwig and took it the other way for the Wolves. Being an extremely physical game all night, both offenses struggled to get anything going. Late in the second, the Wolves looked to put more points on the board, and Amos Rasmussen looked to make a big play to help make that happen. Back. Looking down the field, he's slinging it out the middle, he's got Rasmussen caught over oh, the shoulder, wow. catch at the 35, Ramsey put it on a dime, Rasmussen stuck his hands out right in the bread basket, first and 10 for the Wolves. The yeah, game ending offense would stall in Raider territory, but the Wolves were able to put three more up before half thanks to the leg of Amos Rasmussen. High snap, ball's down, kick is away. It's a wow. good leg, lots of room there. And he splits them, folks. So at the end of one half here in Manning, it's Wolves 10, Raiders nothing. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. The game would stay 10 to nothing for most of the second half, continuing the trend of the hard-fought defensive game. Late in the third, disaster struck for the ICAM Manning punt snap. team. Oh no, it's bobbled. It's on the deck and falling on that one is the Wolf Hunter. And Following a conversion on a fourth and one, the Raider offense was represented with a chance to get on the board. One they wish they could have had a shot at again. Not gonna snap. He's going to drop back. Ludwig Ludwig in the back. Middle. He's going to throw it down the middle. He's got Ludwig caught in the end. Oh, drop. Ludwig ran away from the defender, hit him in the numbers, got to him a little too quick. A few possessions later, Isak was finally able to get on the board thanks to quarterback Tyler Schmidt. But the score comeback effort might have been 25, a little 20, too 15, late. 10, turns on the Jets. Touchdown Raiders as Schmidt pulled it out of Ludwig's belly and took it himself. After a huge scramble by Nolan Ramsey, the motor and player of the game, Kyler Rasmussen, was able to strike again, extending the lead to 17-7 and putting this game out of reach for the Raiders. Oh, little well, miscommunication. He turns some down. Nothing. No first down here for Ramsey. He breaks it loose. Folks, 25, 20, 15, drug down at the 10. See back under center. Snap to Ramsey. He's going to give it to Kyler. Work on the left side. Dives in. Got to the line. No signal. Yep. Yes, yes. Touchdown, Wolves. 
The junior Rasmussen had a big night, helping the Wolves to their first victory of the year while rushing for 115 yards and two touchdowns. Wolves are victorious tonight. Final score is 17 to 7. Thanks for watching this week's Roselle Mutual Game of the Week. After the break, we'll be announcing next week's location. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. This coming Friday, we will be featuring the Carroll Tigers opening district play with a 3-1 run heavy links from Webster City. The Tigers are looking to start district play after going 1-3 in their first four. Make sure to stay tuned all year long for high school football coverage.